Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I wanted to show you uh, some possible solutions to solve uh, the remote desktop uh, randomly disconnecting whenever you're trying to access another computer or server. Um, I did run across this issue personally in my organization and a few of my coworkers, and these are the steps I took. Now, remote desktop protocol allows users to connect to another device via their own computer. So this could be another workstation or laptop and another server. But in my organization, we primarily use remote desktop protocol to access servers. Now, sometimes RDP doesn't want to work like it's supposed to. I'll put a screenshot up on the screen here just to show you, but yeah, I would typically say uh, the connection has been lost, attempting to reconnect your session, and it says a uh, connection attempts one out of how many attempts in total. Yeah, but I'm gonna show you guys some possible solutions to this or the, the steps I took to solve this issue. Now, first things first, you really wanna make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I would say hardwired is more reliable than anything. You could look down here and see, or if you want, you could open settings by clicking the Windows icon, then I. And then you could go all the way down to network and internet and just make sure you're connected and secured. Uh, I always do this first up because sometimes it acts a little wonky. Now, if you have an ethernet, make sure it has the indicator lights on uh, showing that there is a uh, transmission of um, information going into the ethernet port. Now, once you've done that step, make sure remote desktop is enabled in settings. So how you access this is going into system scrolling all the way down and then clicking remote desktop you can even search it as well if you're on windows 10. Um, now i have windows 10 home so it's not going to pop up for me most organizations are going to have windows 10 pro so when you have pro i have a little toggle i'll throw a screenshot as well just to show you but i have a toggle turning it on and off now next thing you could try to do is open the command prompt and flushing the dns um this is always one of the first steps i take whenever there's some type of connectivity issues just in general so you could even you could either type in you know command prompt or the fastest way i like to do is just r and then cmd the windows icon r and then cmd and then all you have to do is ip config and then slash flush dns and then it'll flush the dns for so next thing you could try to do is uninstall Windows Update uh, or one of your recent Windows updates because sometimes the updates do interfere with uh, your connectivity. Uh, just, just in general, some of the updates lead to more um, problems. Um, so what you can do is, again, open settings. Um, you could go to Windows Update down here scroll down and then when it's uh here uh, it? so yeah update history and then uninstall updates and it's gonna give you uh certain updates that you recently installed and uh ones you could uh uninstall so you could try that maybe you just installed an update three days ago and you notice that the remote desktop a network issue popped up after you ran the update you can uninstall and see if that fixes it so the next thing i checked was to make sure that the rdp service is up and running so what you could do is either search up services or you could click windows r and it puts services.msc And then here, this is the uh, services. So you could scroll all the way down to you get to R. And then right here. So you want to make sure remote desktop services is up and running so you could start the service. If it's on for you, what I would do is you could click properties and you could stop it and restart it. Um, and you could change the startup time to automatic. Okay, so now remote desktop services is up and running. You could exit out of this. Next thing I did was check uh, the firewall permissions. So you could do this by 
searching up windows defender firewall and then go to allow an app and feature through windows defender firewall and these are all the apps that are allowed and disallowed so you could scroll through that if you want to change it just click change settings and then scroll down to r now again i'm on windows 11 home so i do not have uh the remote desktop option here but it should say you know remote desktop and you want to make sure that it's unchecked you want to make sure it's unchecked so we'll exit out of here now now this last step is what allowed me to fix the issue entirely so what you would have to do is change some of the registry uh, settings now you have to be careful because if you don't want to mess with it too much if you accidentally you know do something you might you know lead to it might lead to more issues you want to be very careful when you're editing uh, the registry so uh, what you could go do is look up registry Oops, registry or if you want you could click you could also do Windows R and then all you have to type in is reg edit now the path you want to take I'll put it in the description as well so the path you want to take is going to be computer local machine software and then scroll down to you see policies Microsoft no so uh, Microsoft then Windows NT and then terminal services and then client so here it should have a, a registry it should be named F client disable UDP so if you don't have that option you can create that so you could uh, double click click new then D word 32 bit value and then again it's gonna be F client disable UDP and then make sure you click into it modify and then make sure the value is set to 1 and then click OK now whenever you make an edit in the registry you need to make sure to exit out and restart the computer um, and that's what's gonna you know it's gonna allow the uh, registry to take effect so once you do this step uh, just go down here um, and you can click this and then restart your device and then see if that works but yeah other than that those are the steps I took personally to solve the issue uh, for me I guess um, I was using UDP instead of TCP and that's what uh, led to some connectivity issues i did it for myself at work and then i did it to one of my other co-workers and it worked for him as well again i would try to do those uh other steps first in the beginning because edit the registry that would be the last resort but yeah that's how you solve the remote desktop network issue again in the description i'm going to put the following path in the registry editor so you don't have to click on you know each of the the folders uh, you could just copy and paste it on the top i'll show you here when you open it back up again um you could copy and paste the path so like i'll put in the description you could just delete all this or you could just do it all. and then you could just copy and paste it there but other than that yeah those are the steps you uh i took personally um if you have any questions just leave a comment i'll try to answer them but other than that have a great rest of your day guys